if you're taking a walk down our coastal beaches this week, you may have seen one of these. I'm Erin Holly, your Padre Island Neighborhood News reporter, and I spoke to specialists about why tar balls like this are washing up on our beaches and what to do if you see one. Yeah, I actually didn't know what it was. I thought it might have been just something that, you know, like a little creature or something that came out of the ocean. I didn't realize it was just, you know, oil or tar. It's so weird. Lupe Alvarez isn't the only one who was caught off guard at the beach this week. Yeah, we told everyone just to look out because it did get on some of our shoes as well. It's not uncommon to see tar balls on area golf beaches this time of year. It is more common to see that in the summer just because of the temperatures are rising. Uh, the water temperature is warmer, the oil temperature is warmer because of that, uh, and it becomes more fluid and starts to, uh, to move through the water column. While the tar balls may look scary, Dr. Keith Mulstein says that tar balls are not toxic to touch, but you may find yourself in a sticky situation if you do touch one. It's not permanent, but it can be quite resistant, right? It's very sticky and uh, can be very dense and, and uh, stick to your skin for quite a bit. And if it gets on your clothes, that's even worse. It's really tough to get it off of your shoes and, and off of your pets. Dr. Mulstein says that these tar balls made their way up the coast from the Brownsville area over the past 10 days. As you know, uh, Texas is rich in natural resources, including oil and gas, uh, and periodically the oil will come up uh, through natural seeps uh, under the water, come to the surface, and then wash ashore on our beaches. Didn't really notice them whenever we came down, but when we were leaving, um, just so happened to see them floating all around uh, on the sand right there as we were walking up. Tam UCC has free resources available to teach people about oil spill response. For more information, head on over to ChrisTV.com. On Padre Island, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Aaron Holly, Chris 6 News.